Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told you. I told. I already told you before we started recording. At any rate, uh, fun episode today on more GPT stuff, AI. We love. It's a big AI week this week. It is a big AI week. It's going to be a big AI year, I think. I, I agree. I think this was our best AI episode of the week. Yeah. Yeah. The, so, the not so anybody who hasn't seen the others should go back and rewatch them and make sure to rewatch this one to the end for just for comparison's sake. Yeah. Or come on to Discord for a summary. We'll be happy. Or let us know what you think here. Or yeah. just watch the episode. Yeah, you could start with that. I just hit record. <laughs> okay, Mike's making a big deal out of this, right? Sorry, before we start. <laughs> I I said that he catches me out all the time when uh, I'm doing something. And he no, just Peter, you don't going. even get to say that. Okay. Fucking... <laughs> but Mike used to be what like, okay, happening? recording now. And then Peter would be like, are we recording? And this happened every <laughs> week, you guys. Every week for so long to the point where he drove Mike to madness. When Mike recovered from this illness, he came back stronger and created a not recording sign. So we yeah. knew. So Peter had but, zero, no doubt that we were recording. But, okay, mm, and then again, he have. relapses but, again. And two weeks ago, he comes on the show and he says, Mike stops the recording sign, meaning we are recording, and <laughs> oh. and Mike, Mike, Peter is like, "Wait, are we recording?" Are we recording? <laughs> look, look what he does now. He he <laughs> does things. He does things. He goes around. He's I was eating skittles, attention. vaping. I, I'm a busy man. I've got all stuff right, to do. All right, all right, oh, like, that's so funny. Let, all right. Anyway, let's do the show. But now he's making. <laughs> Right, fine, do the show. Mike's found a very, very interesting PDF for us. Yes. Um, no, and- it's well, it's interesting, but it's so dense and long. And it's a study result, not a super interesting screenshot either. Um, but basically the summary is and I tried to get Chat GPT to give me a summary of this survey or the, of these study findings, but they were too long for Chat GPT even to accept. Um, that was not as successful as I was hoping for it to be. Um, at any rate, the study is looking at the impact on the labor market of large, la- large language models. And the bottom line is that approximately 80% of the US workforce could have at least 10% of their work tasks affected by GPTs, while about 20% could it see, could see as much as 50% of their tasks impacted. Whoa. Yeah, I would like to know about the 20% who are not going to be impacted at all by uh, AI. Ooh, yeah, not impacted at all. I mean, certainly some service jobs. It's an interesting balance, too, because I was thinking, do they make a distinction between AI and other kinds of automations? Like I go to uh, Taco Bell and either have to order on the phone or on a kiosk. So that's impacting someone's job because they don't have anybody running a register anymore. But I wouldn't consider that AI. That's just an automation, which makes also perfect sense. Well, Um, I think AI is an automation. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good way to look at it. It's just more accurate, more versatile, better is right. Okay. Yeah. Does this worry you, Mike? John, do you care? I'll tell you. Okay. So again, we have brought this book up. So I have brought this book up so many times. Marshall Brain nails it. And this is what scares me is I think, I think being a European actually rare pro for Europe coming for me. Mm-hmm. I think being a European in the future will be a utopia. But it will be a very close version to Marshall Brain's MANA Australia Project Utopia. We already are seeing privacy being stripped in Europe. This is just how it's been now for almost two decades. Privacy does not exist in Europe. That's the truth. I disagree. Okay, for the record, you can disagree, I'm not now. but I'm right, and that's not how an argument works. Oh well, <laughs> and 
<laughs> in America, that's wasn't not either. Arguing. Well, no, that. In, in, Amer the, the, in America, the two I think I'm right. You're wrong. And mm, 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 yeah, okay. God, I, I, I can in see. Amer in America, I think we're gonna see <laughs> terrifying growth in in uh, unemployment, poverty, homelessness, like, and it's already happening. People are just not looking outside, and, and the they're UK. ignoring the problem. And it's going to be really scary unless we figure something out that can support the how many people are in the service industry over 10% of like all Americans work the service industry. Like, yeah, we're, we're going to need the support. And it's not just that 10% that we should worry about. It's going to be a lot more than that. Go ahead, Peter. You know what we need? You know what we need? We need, I think somebody should to create a startup that could figure this problem out. Huh. Yeah. And they could it should be called AI. the... To do not it. so artificial intelligence update um that's a bad name we'll work we'll workshop it so that that scares me. mike are you scared are you scared well mike? so yes i think i was pretty well uh, on the record last week when peter asked me the same question so what i will add this time in addition to uh my f fears about the impact of social development uh, socio sociological impact, developmental impact on, on people, isolation, increased suicide risk, all the things that I outlined, I think, pretty thoroughly in the past. Um, I heard somebody today talk about how the companies developing AI now and assuring us how safely it's being implemented are the same companies who brought us social media 10 years ago. And we see how that turned out. So why on earth would we trust them to do a better job with AI now? God only knows what it's going to be doing to us 10 years from now if driven by these same clearly Such irresponsible drivers. Yeah. And also, to add to that point, another layer, another level is we have failed worldwide. We have failed to properly regulate social media platforms. Yeah. I don't care how much money you find Facebook. You still let them do what you what they want to do. Yep. This is specifically, I think it was in Ireland, right? They were like, you're getting fined. How much was it? Half a billion dollars. Facebook fucking brushed that off. It does not matter how much money you find these businesses, because at the end of the day, they make you money too. So you don't really actually care. And that yeah, is Mike, super scary. As a, as a, as a fully signed up member of the Marketing Droid Association, uh, you're obviously familiar with things like um, acquisition costs and uh, these kind of things, right? Is mm -hmm. that is that true? Is that mm -hmm, true? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Do they? Do, do you know if companies factor in uh, f like dollar amount fines per user as well? Oh, I'm sure they like, do. I mean, I've I've yeah? never. Well, probably not per user, but I'm. I've never been like at a company aggregate. big enough where that was an issue, but I'm certain these giant corporations have right, research but Peter, on that. We know that's true because I think it was Ford that said, you know, let's not the, the Pinto, the CEO or something of the, the Pinto, the Ford Pinto. They were like, well, that's an acceptable risk for us. Those yeah. lawsuits are an acceptable. Oh risk yeah. For us. And, and this, where they're this like, it was like a deadly, it was like a deadly yeah. issue would, with a car. It would explode and, if it was rear ended. And it was like, well, you know, only 10% of car accidents are rear ended, like rear ends. And um, like, yeah, we're, we're willing to accept that risk. And every car manufacturer, every, everyone has that type of like, look at Tesla, right? So Elon's sitting there with his board and everyone, and someone is a fucking squeaky wheel and says, listen, the cars fucking explode because we're using these really bad batteries in an in a in a like fast impact hard stop big crash the car fucking explodes and not only does it explode it burns at crazy temperatures so like people are just hard insta dead and they're gonna say we accept that risk the yeah. same goes here you. we accept these fines these fines are part of the that's just part of the 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 expense the yearly expense Turns out you can put a cost on a human life. Yeah, so. for sure. And right. the I same mean, that, thing is going to be happening here with AI. That's not. 
Yeah. Right. That's very true. Literally, there's a cost on. Um, yeah. There's a dollar cost. So, uh, was it eighty percent of people are going to be impacted in some way? Up to fifty percent are going to be at fifty percent of their job is going to be impacted. Was that yeah. right? Twenty percent could have fifty percent of their job impacted. Twenty percent could have. 50%. So that means, uh, yeah. I guess I'd have to go and read this whole paper because I've got so many questions like, what does 50% of my job being impacted mean? Is that negative or positive? Like, yeah, it doesn't uh, mean that you'd that have negative? nothing to do, but parts of your job could be well, handled by the GPT. Well, I mean, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example because we used the service industry before with the kiosk, the automated kiosk, the automated checkout. So you someone comes out with a product. It's a machine that rolls. It has the functions of a Roomba and it can also take your order and it can also bring you whatever it is you ordered. Yeah. You have now removed three super important functions of a waiter, a bus boy or bus girl, a, a busser, um, and a, um, uh, what, are, what are they called? A server, right? That's probably over 50% of their job. Like, to, to make sure the floors are clean, to make sure the food gets ordered, and to make sure the food gets served. Okay. All right. I get it. But, um, yeah. So, um, I guess what I was hoping was that it just makes things better and that, you know. Well, yeah. so here's a, here's a couple things to look at. So this is showing the performance of chat GPT 3.5 in blue and GPT 4 in green. Uh, how they perform on different standardized tests. So GPT-4 does super well on the uniform bar exam. So if you're a lawyer, uh, you might be concerned that GPT-4 could take your job. The uh, USA BO is uh, US uh, Biological Olympics or something like that. So if you're a, if you're a bioengineer, maybe you, you could be pretty concerned about that. If you are, uh, who takes what the- about, is is there a bar chart there for podcast hosts? <laughs> totally I'd gone. Like to know. Uh, if you're an AP yeah. environmental scientist, uh, basically just give up your job to GPT 3.5. Um, then the other... What about AI researchers? Is that on the, on the <laughs> well, chart? So the argument is that, yes, GPTs will take some jobs, but they'll create other opportunities. And so you hear now about these uh, uh, prompt engineers as a potential career path, which feels very kind of fatty right now, but we'll see. Um, so, I'm trying to find, go ahead. I'll look for this. I think my joke I just made is actually quite an interesting question. Um, Disagree, uh, what was the joke? Uh, what was the joke? <laughs> Disagree first and then ask what the joke was. Yes, I like that, thank you, Mike. Um, but what the joke was, how does it affect uh, AI researchers? Oh yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Would, would AI actually be able to help research better AI? And uh, do, are, are AI scientists, I think they're called data scientists, um, are they avoiding doing that because they don't want to lose their jobs? Is that one reason why AI hasn't progressed enough? Because uh, like, if, if you were asked GPT to um, run most of open AI, could it, could it like replace people's jobs there? And would they use it for that? Yeah, why can't GPT decide? Why can't why can't GPT use AI to know if its answers are appropriate or not? It does actually. That's part of the way it's been yeah. uh, trained. Yeah, we we it talked about that. <clears throat> yeah. uh, what what did but I? I'm curious There's... now. Does, do you think that OpenAI actually has all its press and everything written by ChatGPT or GPT four as it's now called? It's interesting they they, they dropped no, that chat. I don't think so. Why not? Because uh, if it's so good, the company, the companies that are pitching it have giant ad budgets and giant marketing departments who I, I don't think the GPT could do as well uh, with it, honestly, and hope, but they also don't have financial hoping. interest in trying. Uh, well, no, I, I'm saying that AI's marketing copy that, uh, and they have a discord channel and, and they have blogs, you know, instead of paying someone to write that for them, couldn't they just use their own products? Couldn't they dog food it? They could, but I imagine they won't. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe AI they do, but yeah. Okay. Anyway, marketers this, this don't like the idea of being put out of work by these things. The reason that the 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 people they're creating the AI generated marketing for are not for marketers. They're for business owners who don't understand marketing. Is my sense. Right. 
All right, I'm going to tell. I'm going to give that prompt to uh, GPT and see what uh, blog post it comes up with me uh, um, for me. Anyway, sorry. Uh, um, so this was the other piece I was going to share. Is it's, it's showing like what w how they estimate how humans estimate and how models estimate jobs that could be impacted. So like some of these low like graphic designers, financial managers, they uh, have a high variance, which I think. I take to mean it makes it less likely that they could be replaced by GPTs. And these look like more creative strategy driven um, jobs. But if you're a mathematician, if you're a tax preparer, if you're a, a writer or an author, you're going to be very impacted by GPT if you're a lawyer, uh, these kinds of things. Um, so I definitely something art, to look out for. I think art with the stigma of negativity against artificially generated art um, will f like that will probably still, they will probably still be fine. But what we will see is large studios start incorporating the use of AI yeah. and yeah, we'll see what happens there. Like my understanding I is that our visitors may see it sooner rather than later maybe mm -hmm. even before they've seen this episode <laughs> that's true i, I think uh, that the creative side won't won't have that stigma for for so long to be honest it's well yeah it's going to be very interesting to see how it's all how it all turns out you know we've seen netflix now do a ai generated anime we've seen uh that one game they used an artificially in artificially intelligence generated like things in the game like uh assets um and i think voice acting so we will see it'll be interesting to follow along this scary journey 